ECMAScript 2020 has several neat features. In this tutorial, we are going to look at a new method for strings, match all. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript, where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. To be notified about new tutorials, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe. Also, check out the discount links to my courses I've included in the description of this tutorial. And if you feel so inclined, there's a link to support this channel as well. I love what can be done with regular expressions, and I really appreciate that JavaScript has several methods that work specifically with regular expressions. Match all is a new method of strings provided with ES2020 that is just such a method. It works with regular expressions. Now, if you're unfamiliar with regular expressions, would like to get more familiar I have a course specifically on regular expressions with JavaScript, and you can check out the link in the description for that. Now, as with any ES2020 feature, make sure you're checking for support for the feature with your preferred compiler or targeted browsers. For example, on this site here down at 2020 features, string.prototype match all you can see which compilers and polyfills, which browsers are currently supporting that. Now, the thing that I like most about this new method is it returns all matches for a regular expression that exists in a string. And the matches are returned as an iterator. So you can access them in a one at a time fashion if you prefer, or you can loop through them loop using for of or convert them to an array and then access it that way. But I like that it's returning all of the matches in a particular string. Now, if you're unfamiliar with iterators, I will include links to a couple of tutorials I've done on iterators already. And you can go watch those to learn more about iterators as we'll be using them a bit with this match all method. All right, let's look at how this new method works. I'm going to keep the regular expression simple so that doesn't complicate things very much. But what I have here is simply a string, a quote. And what I'd like to do is match all of the vowels within this particular quote. So pretty simple match, but it will show how we can use match all to get all of the matches. So first, I'm going to set up the regular expression. And here's what that's going to look like. We just want to match any vowel. So we're going to create a character set of vowels. So pretty simple. A, I, O, N, U. So this is going to match any vowel. And we also have the global flag so that it will match all of them. Now let's go ahead and do the match all method. So I'm going to assign the iterator that is returned from this to this variable, it. So I'm going to set that equal to the string dot. So it's a method of strings, match all. And then we simply pass in the regular expression. And so this is going to act on this string. It's going to use this regular expression. It will find all of the matches, which in this case will be all of the vowels. And then it's going to return an iterator with all those matches to IT. So let's go ahead and save that. And we'll take a look at this iterator in the console. So I'm going to refresh that and just open up the console. And when I display simply IT, we see that it is an iterator. It tells us that. Now, in order to display the contents of an iterator, we use the next method. That allows us to move through each part of that iterator, each element in that iterator, in a one at a time fashion. So it would be something like this. If I use the next method, it will show me the first match. Now, notice what's returned. It's an object. 
And that object has a property of done. And right now that's set to false. So what that means is that there are additional elements in this iterator. There are additional things we can look at. When we get to the last one, it will say true. Now down here, we have an array in the value property. And that array has one item. It's the match. And so that's the first I in the quote. And notice it has some additional information about the match. Something else I like about this is there are situations where you need this additional information. Well, let's tell us the index where that match occurred and the length of the match. This is the original input. So it gives us the quote. That's the original input that it found the match on. And so we're able to see the first match there. With an iterator to get the next one, we simply do dot next again. And we can take a look at that information. This time it matched an E. The index position was six. And we can see that done is still false. So there's still more to see here. So if you want to go through the matches in a one at a time fashion, an iterator is a great way to handle that. Well, if you don't, if you want to move through them quickly with a loop, you can use for of loop. For of loops work great for iterators, any iterable actually. So we'll say let the value of it, the iterator. And what are we going to do with that? We'll just log it to the console. We'll log that value to the console. Let's go ahead and refresh that and we can see that. Now you can see that it's logged each one of those arrays to the console. And the array has the match, the index position, the original input, all of that information. So we can see the number of different matches that we achieved with that. Now one other thing you could do with iterables to work with it if you chose to, is you could convert it to an array like this. And that's simply done with the spread operator. And if you are unfamiliar with the spread operator, I've done some tutorials on that that I'll link to as well. So let's take a look at the array that it creates. Now this is going to be an array of arrays because the iterable itself contains arrays. So if we save that, we come out here and let's just go ahead and look at Val's array. Oops, I got to comment out this. Let's refresh that again. Val's array, and there we go. Now, the reason we didn't get anything in the Val's array before is because I was using the for of loop to go through the iterable. And so by the time we got to the Val's array where we converted it to an array, I'd already gone through everything in the iterable. So here we can see in a much simpler fashion all the matches, the indexes associated with that. So it looks like we matched a total of 25. The length is 25, 25 different vowels. So that is the match all method. A new method for strings intended to work with regular expressions and it returns an iterator as the result. All right, please hit the like button and subscribe. And remember the discount links to all my courses in the description section, especially if you're interested in the one on regular expressions. Click the bell button to be notified about new releases. I release a new tutorial each week. And once again, thanks for watching.